Welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. That's right, the G is silent. I am not. Today we're going to be checking out Fallout 76. Yes, that Fallout on the Steam Deck. I see a yellow, I see a yellow playable sign by it, so uh, I'm not going to do any kind of protons or put it in there and see what happens. So uh, I'm going to press play and hope that it plays. All right. Let's go. So, I've played this before on a PC and a laptop, uh, and it does run okay and decently on there. Um, I have played Fallout 4 on the Steam Deck, so that sh should theoretically mean this would run okay. I don't know, I'm assuming my character's still there. I wonder what kind of free stuff is here. We got some camp stuff that's free, maybe? Guess I'll take that for free. Yeah, I don't like the item shop here. That's uh, it, well, I guess you have to have the item shop because it's a multiplayer game. But uh, I don't know. Oh, there's still another thing here. What? I don't know. I don't play Fallout too often to care about it. Character. Yes, I have a few guys. Um, I can't play private private world. You have to uh, have a a fault first account, which is stupid. You should be able to do it. So with that, I guess we'll go on an, an adventure. World found. Please stand by. So this is a multiplayer game. So it's. You will see real people here. Yeah, <laughs> real people, unless they're bots. So I, I don't know anymore. So let's hop on into the, ga into the game and actually see what it looks like and see how it plays, see how it handles, and uh, yeah, hopefully it, hopefully it runs because it would be kind of cool playing this on on the go. So I hear background noises. So hopefully that means that it's running. I think it's about to do something. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got a gun. Okay, if you hold back. Okay, so it shows me. My character I had before. And I can press Y to jump. Okay, overall not too horrible. Uh, not, not too bad at all. Cool. Um, let me see if I can do anything to change the graphics on here. I don't know where I'll, I'll do that. Let me... Yep, oh, there it is. See, they always have a, everything hidden somewhere else. It, it doesn't. You don't need that. Full screen. Twelve eighty by eight hundred preset. I'll put texture quality high. That's fine. Water's low. That's cool. Lighting's low. It's fine. Shadow. Let's put that low. Um, shadow distance low. Depth of field. I don't like that. Field of view. 80 is fine. Actor fade. We'll just increase that. Halfway. 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 Subtitles on. On. Um. Anything else? They don't really give you a lot of settings. Except for texture quality. <laughs> so I, I don't know what that really means. So I'll put medium for lighting quality and see what happens. So uh, yeah, that's it. Let's check the game. Okay. And so they said we have to reset it. So I'm going to quit back to desktop and uh, be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's go back to settings to make sure our settings changed. Display, full screen, yep. Custom, high, low, medium, low, low. Cool. 
Okay, so it fluctuates around 50, 60 FPS. I'm gonna lock it at 50 or uh, 45. Just so it's a little more smooth, consistent. There we go. Oh, let me get a weird glitch there. Not too bad. Okay, so let's go see what, he, what we got. Ghouls need love too, you know. My family, and you've been apart all these years. You know what, though? Now we can do whatever we want together out here. Happy anniversary. So yeah, now there's NPCs here in Fallout 76, which makes it kind of nice. But I think they're kind of stuck and stationary, that they don't really follow you. It's a settler. You can't really talk to them like uh, you would in Fallout 4 or 3. Is that a mutant? Uh oh. I got a load of radiation, that's not good. Oh, it's a feral ghoul. Oh, cool. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I forgot what weapons I have. So I got short pump action shotgun hunting rifle. Uh, the spike baseball bat, machete, ten millimeter. I forgot how to access that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, so far, we're, it's a Bethesda game, so you're going to get some of the Bethesda jank with it, but it's a whole lot better than where, than what is at the very beginning of uh, the release date of Fallout 76. Um, I think, honestly, if you find it for a cheap price, which I think I remember getting it for around $15, $20 or something like that. I think it's a good price at that, and it's been going on sale for a whole lot less. So if you play it as a single player game, I think you'll actually enjoy it. Especially if you have a PC or a desktop, I think that's uh, probably the ideal way to play it. But look at this, you can play it on a Steam Deck. You know, I'm going to go back to low settings overall and, you know, probably get more of a consistent... consistent uh, settings so just go to low for time being yeah no I'm not even going to restart Wow, 
Wow, this is a beginning to be an intensive uh, firefight. I'll take that. I gotta make sure I can heal myself, actually. Got a little blood pack. Just take the junk and whatnot, that's cool. So, some of the NPCs you can actually talk to, they're usually inside of... Yeah, in, inside of the interiors, so... So you can, uh, well, you can talk to people like you would in Fallout 4. Oh, uh, you talk to the well-done guy. Good kill him. Uh, if you have a strength or any kind of other special skills in that area, you can also do, uh, persuasions. Government is mixing. I live here. So, so good in that. Makes you invisible. Mind the local. Okay. I mean, as you all can see, the game runs pretty decently on a Steam Deck. Just gotta watch out for uh, some of the frame drops. I don't know why it does it, but, you know, it runs on the Steam Deck, so. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, you can if you, if you, well, can you? Yeah, theory. Yeah, why can't we be choosers? Why can't beggars be choosers? You know, <laughs> so yeah, it just turned out the the saying on its head. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, notification bell, um, subscribe if not already subscribed. Hit you know comment below any kind of favorite part of the video. Uh, comment any other future game videos you'd like to see on this channel. Um, maybe more multiplayer games on there. See if there if you can run on it. Um, Sometimes multiplayer games have difficulty running them that you might get a, some weird anti-cheat system going through, but uh, with the Bethesda jankiness, I don't think you'll have a problem. Because I was able to get Elder Scrolls Online with a couple weird hot fixes and try to get in there, and I was finally able to run it. And the same thing with the Fallout uh, 76. that It runs quite fine, actually. So I think if you're interested in this game and you're, you are wondering if they could actually run it on the Steam Deck, yeah, you can run it on the Steam Deck, and it's just another open world game. Unfortunately, you do have to be online for it. <sighs> yeah, it's it's not ideal, but you know if you're somewhere near Wi-Fi that you can always have a stable connection, then yes, I think it's definitely worth playing, even if you're playing it by yourself. Though I think it's probably best if you're playing with other people or if you have friends that actually play this game. You know, that probably helped out a lot. So, yep. Thank you so much again for watching. And I hope you have a great and fantastic rest of your day. And thank you again for your support. Have a good one and take care.